Hello everybody, this is Toy Zara, and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are going on in the world of Transformers, and let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel, and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore rus. We're going to kick things off with some amazing news and some amazing, I suppose, confirmation of all of the leaks that we've had from Takara literally over the last... Uh, seven or eight days maybe we've got some official images and product names which is fantastic so we're going to start off with masterpiece beast wars mp 59 rhinox images so again these are all official takara images i've got these from tfw 2005 uh, but again these are confirmation these are actual products they definitely as i say going into production or they are by the way in production because you can see them here so no more rumors there he is um, in both modes. There he is in robot mode. This guy looks spectacular. I've only watched a few of the episodes, but that is straight off the screen to how he looks. Um, yeah, what I was saying was with regards to Takara, sometimes um, obviously they don't always come to fruition, but these all have, um, and I've got loads to show you at the beginning of this video. So the people who've watched Peace Wars can help me in the comments with which episodes and stuff these are from. I've not watched them all enough yet to know what they are. You can see how well he scales perfectly with Optimus Primal and indeed with Cheetor as well. So that's the first one. This is amazing. This is the next Beast Wars versus pack. This is called Phantom Confrontation Ghost of Starscream versus Waspinator official images. So this is the Earthrise mold of Starscream and of course the Kingdom mold of Waspinator. But of course the Starscream is translucent plastic. I am 100% going to be pre-ordering this one. I love the mould. I love the. I just love the Ghost of Starscream. And as I said, I've got a real thing for translucent plastic figures. And I think I'm sure you'll agree. Please let me know in the comments. That looks stunning. Really, really excited for that. Waspinator looks great as well with his updates. Um, and then there's even more. So this has still definitely got the name. Uh, dramatic capture series nemesis bridge so we have a seed shockwave without his armor parts and with a cartoon accurate clean deco earthrise megatron new cartoon accurate clean deco and the war for cybertron netflix sound wave it definitely is new premium deco seems to have covered all the gray parts with silver paint he comes with laser beak and the throne is the same accessory with studio series leader class starscream it's going to be about 111 dollars and is planned for release in march next year so let's have a look at this i know loads of people who are going to be really excited for this um and i might even have to get this as well as i say even though i've got the three i just really like these clean toy decos that they're doing at the moment um, and I think he looks way better like that without all the extra armor anyway, to be honest. Soundwave is an absolute no-brainer. He just looks, again, spectacular. There is Laserbeak. Um, and again, moving on to more. This was, again, I suppose, teased literally about a week ago now. This is Legacy United Silverbolt. Um, are they saying it's Voyager? Yeah, Voyager Silverbolt. So once again, we mentioned this before when I did the, I suppose, preview of this. Uh, Takara have actually managed to release or... Yeah, reveal something before Hasbro, which hasn't happened in as long as I can remember, to be honest. Uh, I don't mean, obviously, things like the missing link, because obviously that's Takara exclusive, but I mean co-consisting <coughs> co uh, of toy lines, if you know what I mean. Um, this guy looks great. Again, I don't know too much about him or the character. Um, just impressed with what he looks like. And again, can't wait to get hold of this guy as well. Last couple of Takara things. Um, the, this is basically just confirmation uh, and again remember that they get their figures in slightly different orders compared to us so studio series Nova Kane, which I've already done a review on this channel um, is going to be SS121 in Japan and 122 is Voyager Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime so that one that everybody can't get a hold of uh, which is the buzzworthy Bumblebee elsewhere he's going to be available in America so, not in America in Japan so you'll be able to order it from the Takara Tomy website just a quick couple of pages, oh, sorry, pictures of Novocaine. That's my favourite mode for him. But he's going to be in this awesome new closed box as well. But it is exactly the same figure. There is an image. And there's, again, there's loads more of that on uh, the particular websites. So that's the Takara Tomy stuff. It's so good. Um, and I know loads of people who are really really excited for that funnily enough continuing the news and can continue with japan takara tomi hubby channel youtube account have just uploaded the first episode of the japanese dub of earth spark so if you want to watch that with the japanese dub you can or you can catch it via 
TFW 2005 as well. So as I say, at the moment, Transformers seems to be really on the rise again in Japan because of all this. And again, it's great that it is because that means we're going to get some amazing figures. Right, Shanghai Wonder Festival was the weekend just gone. We've got some pictures now of Trumpet Trumpeters, Bumblebee Movie, Optimus Prime, um, our Rise of the Beasts figures and Bumblebee model kits. So these are pre-painted model kits that are about 8 to 12 centimetres tall, well articulated for their size. And there's also some new reveals which I'm going to show you here, including Dropkick from the Bumblebee Movie. So these are all images from that there, Shanghai Wonder Fest. There is Optimus Prime. This guy looks really good. As I say, you've got to remember that these are model kits, a little bit like the Yolo Park ones that you just build together yourself. Um, and again, they are licensed by Hasbro and Takara. That's why they can use their proper names. Um, here's some of the smaller new model kits they're bringing out as well. It seems to me that loads of companies, again, are doing these sort of chibi style uh, figures. That looks really good with his battle blades. I can't wait to see that in colour. There's Bumblebee with an additional battle mask, obviously. Soundwave with the obligatory Ravage. All oh, looking so, so good. There's the Optimus Prime again with some screen, sorry, with some actual model pieces behind him. So this is Bumblebee movie, of course. There is Thrust. Um, or are they calling him Acid Storm? I just read some are Acid Storm, but that's the colours of Thrust in the um, Hasbro market. There, of course, is Blitzwing, Wheeljack, and Dropkick looking at there. There's a close-up of Dropkick. Um, there's some of the models in their testing phases. Um, again, all of these images were taken from the display boxes at the Shanghai Wonderfest. And I suppose Dropkick is the most interesting at the moment because I um, haven't really seen many figures or models of that character around recently. So there we go. Last couple of images here, there you can see Trumpeter, Rise of the Beast, Bumblebee now. So we've got the Bumblebee movie. We've now got the Rise of the Beast characters. Um, and again, uh, the model, I suppose, kit building industry is huge at the moment with regards to Transformers. It really is very interesting. Right, this is something again I like to feature. This is from the Daily Prime, which is on T-Formers. And this is an animated Power Master Optimus Prime concept designs. So as uh, BA Cons put on this, I've been wanting to share these concept designs made for Transformers animated Power Master Optimus Prime for such a long time. This was to be an upgrade made for the character with elements on fire truck mode that appeared in the TV show and Wingblade Optimus Prime that was eventually released by Takar in 2010. So there's a full article on this. Um, and I know loads of people on the channel and people who watch this like me appreciate seeing these concept designs, concept art. There's a full write up here. There's some, as I say, working sheets, uh, working progress sheets. Um, and as I say, if you want to see this in full detail, please head to tformers.com to see all this and have a good read about it yourself because it is really interesting. Toy concept designs, obviously, is fascinating and it's great that we've got so much access to this information um, at the moment with regards to old Hasbro designers and indeed current last images of them before we move on to some in-hand images of Legacy United Chase. You can see same size as Strong Arm there, uh, same size as Shadow Striker, I'm forgetting in the names, um, and was that Shadow Striker? No, that one's Shadow Strip, isn't it? I think, again, apologies, <laughs> there's too many names, too many characters to keep hold of. Uh, keep track of rather and yes I've got him pre-ordered and I will still get around to doing the original review as soon as I can remember right this again this is a statue I'm sure it's a statue I showed you a few images of this a couple of months ago so this is Josh Nizzi's Power Master Optimus Prime by Prime One Studios and again these are images from the Wonder Festival that happened over the weekend um, so this is insane um, and my images probably aren't going to do this any justice. There is a full video of this that I featured a couple of months ago, but that is Josh Nizzi's Power Master Optimus Prime. So this, of course, is more of a movie uh, accurate version of him rather than what we would know as, I suppose, God Jinrai or a traditional G1 Power Master Prime. But then look at the detail on this. This is some of the components on this statue or some of the painted parts, shall we say. You can see all the nuts, bolts, cogs, chain look at that the detail there they've obviously got the cogs and the chain going around um, of course it's not a transforming toy it's nothing like um the robo sen either it's like a statue and the detail on it is just on a different level you can attach things to it um, and take things off uh, but even things like this in a second there you go look you can see the rounds of bullets 
um, in a magazine and the side of his hip is just just mind-blowing the detail that goes into these figures statues and everything about these right now so again wanted to share some of them images with you um, been on the third party website as usual so here is some fans hobby teasing of I believe this is Armada Jetfire again please correct me if I'm wrong um, I have always said that the Armada trilogy is a huge huge gap in my knowledge in Transformers um, but it's looking very much like that to me so these are some of the prototype images of that figure um, and again they just keep knocking them out of the park with all the and with the teaser images they've got so much coming on at the moment um, and I've already as I say got a few to review and had the pleasure of reviewing Destroyer he was spectacular and Double Agent is coming up soon as well other third party Dr Wu's take on Sandstorm this is on the way to me as well at the moment so he's obviously a triple changer but what some fans have managed to do already is find another mode. So there's obviously your robot, there is your helicopter, and there's your buggy, there's the standard. But there's, I suppose, a different version or variation of a buggy. And then I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like a hovercraft, but they're all good, fun things that I'm going to be doing again in the videos as soon as I get mine in hand. Uh, Magic Square, again, is hyping up ready for, uh, of course, their take on Bruticus. We've got four members of the team now. We just need their take on Blast Off. Uh, that's why they're not fully combined just yet. So can't wait to see that. Yeah, I was very impressed with the Vortex. The transformation video is still taking a bit longer than wanted to because it's just so fiddly for me anyway. Right, here we go. This is interesting as well. So Hasbro have applied for several Transformers 1 trademarks. So they basically this is to do with the motion picture that's coming out. This is the new animated uh, Transformers um, and they've done patents for toy action figures, vehicles and robots, downloadable game softwares, children's activity books, printed comic books, etc. So this is great news and just expect an absolute plethora of merchandise when this actually comes around. Right, last couple of things on here. As I say, I've been on the third, third party websites. This is Studio Zero One, this is Seed. So this is their take on Primus. If you remember, they did, they've just recently done a Halloween Unicron and they did obviously the standard Unicron when the HasLab came out. This is their take on Primus. These images are from Shozy Store, which is where you can pre-order them from, and I'm gonna show you how in a second. This looks really, really good as well, to be honest. Uh, detail on it is second to none. It's a large figure as well, as I say, it, it's huge. Same sort of size, I think, as Unicron. I'll get some more details on this as and when more and more companies or more and more websites, shall we say, get more images. These images are just from the websites that are selling them. Right, so let's have a quick look at how, of course, you can get hold of some of these. So, again, I'm very proud to say that I'm obviously associated with Show Z. This is the online website that sells Takara, um, third party, and all the different figures that you see me advertise on this particular channel. I'll say show you rather than advertise. If you put Toys R Us in that box there, it massively helps me and the channel out. And you still get all your points as well, which is great. And you can order things like, this is the pre-order page, so there is, Dr. Wu's Inferno, there is YOLO Park's Optimus Prime, uh, there's Magic Square's Optimus Prime, we've got the DNA Design Upgrade Kits, there's funnily enough the Primus I've just showed you. They also do Masterpiece figures, official Takara products, 3-0 products, um, YOLO Park, Trumpeter, everything I've just been naming and listening and seeing you can see and pre-order these yourself. There of course is Masterpiece Movie Bone Crusher. And of course, keep your eye out for the flash sale pages as well, because once again, everything I've just made, mentioned, they've got sale uh, prices on these as well. So it's well worth a nose at that. Right, with regards to the channel, um, I've got a couple of third party figures. I'm gonna hopefully get a Thunderwing showcase as well as a Generation 1 Skystalker done over the weekend. I'm gonna be doing a live Saturday night, which may be afternoon, depending on where you're on the world. Um, I'll put that up tomorrow or later on today and get the time for that clarified. And once again, thank you guys for all the support. Um, I look forward to chatting to you all in the live stream. Let me know what you think of all these in the comments. And as ever, if I've got anything wrong, call me out on it and let me know. Thanks, guys. Take care.